health first ke and then I, I transition ke kan Hey guys, welcome to another episode and today is an RX7 day 2023. They are actually celebrating their 45th anniversary. Don't mind the poster. But it has been manufactured for 24 years, right? And we have ranges from the first RX7, which is the SA, right? Which is called the FB. And then we have the FC and the FDs. And along with which, uh, you know, we have uh, other rotary cars. There's RX3s, before that RX2s. Of course, the legendary Cosmo. So, we have predecessors as well at RX8. So at First Mile Auto, we will have, uh, as you guys know, if you have been here, you have all other, you know, known JDMs. You know, we have a uh, Supra, we have a Corolla, we have a G GR86, and of course, the lineup of RX7s. And behind me, you see all the ranges of RX-7s. So what we, what is right here is the FC, right? There are many, you know, mo models where we have the convertibles, you have the coupe, and then you have the ones before it, which is the SA slash FB, right? So this is the FC. As you all know, it mimics the 944 at the time. Alright, so you can see all this uh, beautiful cars by owners of Malaysia. Having a nice collection and setup. And the best part is, there is a Spirit R right there. When the RX-7 lineup is coming to a close, Mazda decided let's just have a final car. Like most car manufacturers, will I have, well they love final cars. So to go with the bang, this was the last manufactured car in 2002. So they named it the RX-7 Spirit R. So what's the difference between a generic RX-7 and a Spirit R? As you can see, you have a different bumper where the plate number is mounted in the front. Right, and then the lights are more refined for the fog lamps. And then we have this 17 inch rims, right, that came with the car. It's a sport uh, homage, uh, home allegation, or something that they have thought about. And everything about the car is as original as it gets. So, with that, this car is the most loved Mazda because it was the flagship and it's something that people would consider as a hero. It is a JDM hero from Mazda itself along with other makes like Supras from Toyota, Skyline from Nissan. But something about this being the one of the most ultimate rotary cars as compared to the RX-8, of course, it uh, 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 trails the line for, you know, uh, it succeed the RX-7. But the RX-7 nonetheless is a car that people will actually fall in love the most among most Japanese cars. Alright, so you saw my favourite. This is another legend. 1985 RX-7 FC convertible. You know, you don't see this much on the roads in Malaysia. But something about this, you know, brings back uh, to the US market where they love convertibles. And this is the kind of cars that you would go for for a car that is a mere 200 horsepower but you know with a lot of fun you can't buy a Porsche at that time you get an RX-7 RX FC So unlike cars in the 70s this is a rotary not all rotaries come with coupes 
or it doesn't come with coupe. But this one in particular competes with cars like Datsun, Nissan, and etc. Before that, it was not called Nissan. So the Mazda made a rotary engine and put that engine in a sedan, right? And this is a 12A engine, right? Modern day cars are 13Bs. Well, this car is a 12A. This uses a carburetor rather than an injection. So, and it uses a distributor. So this is something really dear to most people in Malaysia. I mean, how is it dear? It's red. It's just plain red. You won't see much of these cars on the road. For a layman, they would not know or even recognize what the car is, right? So it is, I would say, a gem. The dime a dozen. Like any car enthusiast, they love mods. They love body kits and such. So for this particular RX-7, came with an RE Mamiya kit. What is an RE Mamiya kit? RE Mamiya is a company that actually does uh, mods, especially body kits like this, right? This is technically the last of its kind because they had other mods that look like Porsche. So in this case, this is a rare gem because this is a sweet, to me, it's a wide body. RX-7. So every car enthusiast that loves an RX-7 would want to go and most likely for an RE Mamiya kit. You know, uh, I would say that, you know, I've seen some parts of Asia that actually, you know, do rotary fest. As you can tell, Thailand. Because Singapore, you know, we do things with Singaporeans. But, you know, we don't normally see a lot of rotaries, uh, you know, putting, uh, coming together uh, in one place. And it's quite difficult because, you know, most people, most people would think it's a difficult thing to handle the rotary. So, I would say that, you know what? You must be jadi hati kental, meaning to say you have to have a strong heart to actually own a rotary. How to maintain it, how to juggle the car, oil, water level, there's a lot of things because it's an old car. But of course, if you, some of you would ask, will an RX-7 outlast an RX-8? Yeah, maybe. But either way, if you love the car, I think you are able to actually take care of any car. A car lives forever, as long as you take care of the car very well. So here at Base 3, we have the most road trees within the year. So welcome to RX7 Day 2023 and we will see you tomorrow.